Ladies and gentlemen, in 2016, okay, Pyrocynical was rumored to be dating a underage French girl. It was unclear on the age of this girl because these allegations came from Pyro's old friends. Or you were lying. Who kept giving me different ages. Or you were lying. And I came out publicly saying, you know, Pyro was dating this girl and she was this age and she was that age because, quite frankly, his friends just kept giving me different ages. And the third thing is, what they do is they come up with more than one answer. Or you were lying. He responded in a Reddit post basically saying that he didn't date this girl, that they were just friends, nothing sexual took place, mm -hmm. nothing sexual ever it's happened fine. between them, and that Keemstar was making false pedo exactly. allegations. Good. I never knew if anything sexual was going Good. on, if they were dating or... Wow, I really like that that Twitter clip where you said, you know how you've been uh, dating some 14-year-old French girl and shit? Yeah, that sounded really like you were unclear. No, it, it wasn't that you were using it as a weapon. It, it, you, you, you just weren't... You were on the fence, Keemstar. Fucking manipulative snake cunts. Managed to get these DMs that proved that there was some type of relationship going on between Pyro and this underage French girl. But you don't know if they were sexual. You don't know if they were sexual. Girl. And Pyro responded to it basically just saying that, you know, they were just friends or whatever. That's fine. But it was clear in these DMs that I had access to that Pyro was what, saying, what I will wait until you turn 16. So it was clear that Pyro knew that this individual. Okay, so that is a little bit suspicious. He's asking about age. And the age of consent in the UK is obviously 16. That does not prove without... That... In your own words, Keem, that does not prove without a shadow of a doubt that this was a sexual relationship and and Pyro was being manipulative. That does not prove shit, Keemstar. I'm sorry, I just, t I say it how it is. Vigil was underage. Today, I have her on the line. I finally got a hold wow. of her four years later. And so I'd like to introduce you to... Okay, so we don't, so this is where he starts interviewing her. We don't know if this girl is, like, um, the same girl yet, so I'll just give him the benefit of the doubt that she is. He could have manipulated this, you know, he could have, like, maybe said, um, you know, this is what I want you to say, because that's been known when people go on drama alert that he sometimes manipulates it, like, um, I think that happened to, I think that happened to, like, Bash Reverse in 2016. To Lou, the underage French girl. How's it going, Lou? Um, it's going great. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, she does yeah, not just sound very con. To, yeah, to very be in awkward. This situation. Um, be in this situation with the uh, disgusting fucking rats. So, <laughs> I guess where do we start? Uh, when when did you first meet Pyro? Do you remember? Uh, you know how old you were? How old he was? So I met Pyro back in 2015 when I was... Okay, first thing suspicious. She's referring to him as Pyro, not as Niall, his real name. So, um, why wouldn't she just refer to him as Niall if you know him on a personal level? Like, that would make more sense if you were referring to him as if he was your friend. You're referring to him like you were a stan girl, which is kind of proving my point. 14 years old, and he was 18 years old. Um, I was a fan artist for him and his group of friends. So all these YouTubers um, in the okay, so community he was in. I drew him a lot because, well, he was my favorite of them all. Mm -hmm. um, to show me his support, he followed me. That's and cool. so later on, nice. I thanked him and talked to him in DMs. And that's how we became friends. Okay, so that's that's just a normal fucking relationship. If you did something to him, like if you gave if you drew him artwork, then that's perfectly fine, you know? That's just a perfectly fine relationship if he follows you. Nothing suspicious about that yet. So you guys, you know, became friends. He became you were friends. making art for him. Were yeah, you that's, making that's like fine. I, I think you told me off air that you were making like his avatars and stuff for him. Yeah, the, the fox one. Yeah. His avatar. Yep. The furry one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the furry one. Uh, the furry one. Um, yeah. So uh, Py Pyro is a furry, funny, funny game star. You're so funny. You're so funny, dude. Point. This develops into a romantic relationship. 
Oh, w okay. when did that so take, here take we go. place? Well, not very long after. Um, I guess we'll have known each other for like a few months before this happened. Mm -hmm. In DMs, we did start maybe a little bit flirting, saying that, well, we like each other's personalities and he appreciates what I do for him and I appreciate not his really company. Sexual, but okay. Um, so okay. it was quite, you know, young love, like where you have a crush. Right. Yeah. It, yeah. Were you, you know, he said that like, you know, he never dated you like that. You weren't mm -hmm. his girlfriend, but w were you boyfriend and girlfriend? Yeah, we were. Okay. So here she claims that they were boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, she hasn't said anything about them being sexual. She just said, oh, I like your personality. I like kind of who you are. That's perfectly fine. That's what friends are, especially even if it's like, um, I guess, uh, boy girl relationships that aren't sexual. I think that's perfectly fine, I guess. In the Sake sense of like e-dating, right? Because you never met yeah. each other in real life, but you were e-dating online. Mm -hmm, exactly. They were not. And so... You know, I know I talked to you off air and, and yeah, you it's... told me like nothing sexual actually did happen, which yeah. is good. I'm Yeah, nothing sexual. Great. You just fucking wasted my time, Keem. Really. Nothing sexual occurred. So you just fucking made yourself look like a retard. Pyro's part, right? Yeah. Uh, but something wrong took place, right? Something you're, you're wrong. You're dealing with uh, a whole situation where he's a YouTuber. So how uh, the fuck is it bad? Kid. If it's not sexual, then why is it bad? She's not... So, you, you make it clear, nothing sexual. That means no sexual things like that happened with the Ivory situation. No messages, no lewd photos, no asking for photos, nothing of the sort. So why the fuck is this bad? E-dating, beyond a shadow of a doubt, Pyro was E-dating e an underage French girl. The problem is... This is very easy to manipulate because there is a much blurred line between, you know, re in between relationship, a sexual relationship and just a normal relationship. And this one falls right there because I, they have acknowledged that Pyro was, you know, over like he was 18 and she was 14. So already that isn't great for Pyro. But still, like you can't claim this was e-dating really without the context because if you hear... Pyro was e-dating a girl, like, Pyro was e-dating an underage girl without knowing the context that this was not a sexual relationship in any way, which they just stated, then you would think, then you would insinuate, like, you would, like, think that there was sexual things going on. So that's the problem with this, because Kim is portraying it like it was a sexual relationship, even though there was nothing of the sort happening. Manipulation. Which... Is good on Pyro's part, right? Good on his part. Uh, but Why something doing... wrong took place, right? You're, okay, you're what's dealing wrong? with what's wrong? Uh, a whole situation where he's a YouTuber, uh, you're a younger person that looks up to him. There's a working relationship there where he's, you, you know, you're making art for him, so, and the two of you yeah. start dating. Uh, a so lot of this dating. stuff comes across what, innocent, the evidence but then when you were... look at the ages, that's like, wrong. It, there, something wrong is going How on. How are they there. dating? So at the time. So dating usually implies that there was something sexual going on, at least in my opinion, which I know here I'll explain that in a sec. So in my opinion, dating usually has something sexual. If there's nothing sexual about this relationship, they they just are talking to each other, having fun, uh, talking about each other's personalities, doing work for each other. That is just a friendship. There is no dating about it. I don't see how you can spin it that they were e-dating without a shadow of a doubt. There is a lot of doubt in my mind, Keem, right now. Time, you were 14. Pyro was 18, correct? We've already asked yeah. that. And when you were dating and considered boyfriend and girlfriend, and it was a it was a short period of time, how long were you dating? Only about two weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks, yeah. So... <laughs> Wow. In the course of this two weeks, again, I, it, just for the internet's sake, what were the ages? Still 14 and 18. Okay. Oh my God. okay. And Pyro's response I when I started talking that, about these okay. allegations that his friends, again, his friends told me about this. These were not my allegations. Yeah, but they were your allegations because you kept using them against Pyro because he was alluding to, you know, making a response to you and was catching on to your manipulation in 2016. So you're using these as a fucking, like, you're using these as blackmail. 
Because if you remember that Twitter video, I got fucking files on top of files to swing back at. You know, they've been contacting me saying you've been dating some, like, 14-year-old French girl and shit. You're using it as a weapon, and that is not okay. So, you trying to defend it by saying, oh, they had a relationship. That's just a nothing argument. You're trying to dig yourself out of this hole, like, from 2016, yet you <laughs> you basically have just used this as fucking nothing. You're, you're a dick. That's what I'm essentially saying. You're trying to defend yourself from 2016... You saw that, hey, I can probably get in contact with this girl and maybe clear out some of the stuff because I want to be a good guy. I'm good guy Keem. I I'm a hero. I'm a hero of YouTube. And uh, what do you know? You manipulate. And uh, you completely leave out the part where you were using these fucking allegations as if they were fact. And on top of that, you were using them as if you were going to use these as, like, a weapon as blackmail and I wasn't you know I'm gonna be perfectly honest I wasn't sure if any of this was true I was talking about what his friends told me no you weren't um, you were using it on Twitter but it turned yeah. out it was so if I like I'm just gonna use this apply this to my situation if I like if creeper let's say told me that blaze was a pedophile I could say, dude, you're a pedophile. I'm going to fucking release some fake um, DMs that you are a pedophile. And I can just say, oh, yeah, Creeper told me, so put all the blame on him. I may have spread this information to every corner of the internet and made you seem like something you're not. But but that's not me. That's you guys that fed me the information, even though I took them at face value and fucking spread them everywhere. That That's your guys' fault. That's true. Uh... In his response, he said that you were 15 years old and he was 18. Why, why did he say that you were 15? He said... I have no idea. Maybe to make it less shocking? Maybe. I mean, maybe because he kind of forgot the ages. That's literally your defense, Keemstar. What a double standard. You literally said right there, uh, they're giving me different information. I, 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 I kept... I was, I was confused. That's what Pyro might have done to make the age gap smaller by a year because maybe people thought it would be speculation not nicer but less wrong because but what if pyrocynical responds to this and says well she she lied about her age she told me that she was older not saying mm, that he knew i was born in 2001 which would have made me 14 years old when it was 2015. He's not going to do that. It's just, it was Did he know the month you were born? Just, I, got, See, I like the way they're trying to spin this. Is that, oh, they were different ages, so they can't interact. Well, if there's nothing sexual going on, and he's, she's just making art for him, and they're just complimenting each other and saying nice shit, that's not really dating. That's just having a fucking friendship, Keem. I don't know why you're trying to spin it like this was sexual, because you constantly bringing up the ages and trying to defend that aspect means that you are trying to like incriminate him because ages are only relevant when it's um like tied to sexual allegations like in the ivory situation when he didn't know that he was 15 that's it bro sorry this is like but we have to know this stuff because i you know if there's any little hole of like well there's a giant know, plausible de hole. deniability he's gonna take it right yeah, I'm taking it too, you well, fucking Well, we surely rat. told each other's birthdays. I mean, it's what you do when you get to know someone. So he probably knew I was born in July. I don't know my fucking internet friend's birthdays, dude. I just talk with them because they're my friends. I don't send anything sexual. I mean, I, I mean, someone accidentally did one time a few days ago, but we're not going to get into that. Mm. Yeah. Dude, I don't know who the fuck, if I'm, like, having a friendship with someone like Creeper or fucking Slug, I don't know the, f I don't even know what the fuck their ages are. I don't know where they live. I don't know anything about them. That's just a friendship. <laughs> now, I guess people would want to know, what was the nature of the relationship, right? Yes, you there know, we go. Here's some, stuff here's some damning not... shit happening like if no one's exchanging nudes if no one's, no one's exchanging you know, nudes, how is this bad role playing no or having a sexual nope. texting type no, conversation sexual. Right, without then pictures but you know just stuff like that what was the relationship then really it was just 
like the most simple relationship you could ever imagine. I guess him and there we fucking go. It didn't need a genius to do this. Let's just watch the rest before I comment more. Fuck. I had interest into games and what he was doing as well as fan arts and all these things. We just got along well with our personalities as well. It was really simple. There was no I mean, was complex there, thing. Wow. Uh, it, it, that that basically just <laughs> that just proves my point, Kim. Uh, that does not sound like e-dating to me. That sounds like they were talking about things they had in common in video games and complimenting each other. That does not sound like he is a pedophile or anything else. That does not sound like an e-dating relationship. That basically just proves my point that, without a shadow of a doubt, they were e-dating. No, that's just having a friendship, Keem. You're really giving me AIDS right here. But was there any like you're cute? Like I like the, you're pretty. Do I like the way you look? Like is there this type of stuff? Is that what we're talking about? Probably, yeah, yeah. I th it is. I I must I must have sent him like pictures of me, and he I know he sent me a selfie once when he was with his dog, I think, <laughs> and I did think he was cute. Yeah. Oh. And ew, he was just with his dog. Kim, are you trying to? See, I like, I like how uh, in the Gokunari video that he gave a 10 out of 10, um, there was a part called the H3 joke, where it was like he would say one, like, you know, he would try to brainwash his fans uh, by giving backhanded comment compliments, and, like, the, I think it was the, the yeah, Jimmy's a legend, yeah, the guy's a legend thing. I think that's what Keem's trying to do here. He's trying to, like, when, when she said he took a picture with his dog, and Keem said, ew, like, really feminine. He's trying to insinuate that, um, that, that he fucked the dog or something. I mean, because he gave that video a 10 out of 10, he commented that. I think, uh, he agrees with everything inside of it, so I guess the same thing could apply to him in this situation. Mm -hmm. I think I made an exception for him and did show myself, and he probably nothing sexual. highly said I was pretty, but I don't think that. But no, yeah, I don't think that. So I don't. So what do you say? Sorry, let's let's rewind that. Highly said I was pretty. He said you were pretty. It's not sexual. See how they're trying to spin it? They're saying, oh, there were photos involved. I'm trying to make him look like a pedo. I mean, what is that like? See, they're both in high school. You do realize that. And I also like how, um, Pie Man, I guess, during the John Swan situation, he was getting accused, but, like, they were trying to defend him from John Swan, even though that is technically pedophilia, because in the state I live in, California, if you were th a minor and you're three years older than someone, if another minor, let's say, like, you were 15 and the girl's 12, which is Pie Man's situation, I think. That is pedophilia if you have a sexual relationship. So, um, that's what they're trying to spin it as, yet yeah, double standards for, uh, I guess, defending Pie Man. But I don't think that, but... Now, he ends up, in these DM conversations, breaking it off with you, right? Yeah, yeah. because maybe... And uh, you don't know why. Maybe that's because he thought it was kind of, he realized, hey, this is a little bit weird that I'm calling this girl pretty or, you know, getting pictures from this girl because maybe he could use it or she could use this against me, which you're now doing. Like, maybe that's why he broke it off because he knew scumbags like Keem would try to spin it like this. In the conversation, it's very clear that you're accusing him of breaking up with you because you know, for fame and he doesn't want it to hurt his YouTube channel and he doesn't want to come across looking like a pedo. Because right? he doesn't. Was that, was that the scenario? Why did you guys break up? Okay, let's listen Well, first. when all these allegations came up, when either my friends or his friends wanted to make it all public, he came up to me saying that this won't work, that this will just... That's fine. If you have, I guess, like... If the community is getting so pissed about this, like, about you dating that person, I guess it's kind of hypocritical because of the item situation. It seems reasonable you'd break up because if it's causing a PR scandal and you're literally getting attacked over just having a, a regular-ass friendship with a just a regular girl, like, I guess maybe it's a little bit weird because one's underage, but still, it's still legal if it's not anything sexual, which it wasn't. 
So basically, I I don't I don't get it. Of course he would break up with you, because you guys were going to go public with this information, which of course would fuck him over. You know, make him seem like a very bad person. And he decided to tell me that we should just end everything. I wonder why, because you were. That was good. That was good on his part that he yes. did that. Good. But so why are you making yeah. this video? I gotta be brutally honest. Brutally honest. That's Let's why you gotta you. call this stuff out. Why do you have you to? Know, I was talking why do you have to call this stream. stuff out? Why do you have to call this stuff out? What stuff do you have to call out? The part where he didn't have a sexual relationship and he had to quit it because shitlords like you came were yelling at him. Was it because um, you have to call out the part where he um, where he had no sexual relationship with her? And it was completely fine. Why do you have to call that shit out? About Pyro's friends telling me about these allegations. Even though and you were I was the one that made the public. Publicly. And Pyro tried to twist my words. He took me no, out of context. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Making like I was coming Shut up, up with these King. allegations. You and were, I though. a lot of hate. A ton of hate at the time in 2016. Because you fucking were. You were taking these allegations at face value and making them seem like they were fact. Don't try to spin it like you're all oh, I'm 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 getting all this hate from the internet guys. Don't try to spin it like you're the victim Keem, you fucking cunt. Own up to the but shit the you did. But the facts of the matter is that stopped this online relationship between you and Pyro, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, so Keem Star stopped the online relationship between her and, uh between just an innocent relationship between Pyro and uh, Lou. Great man, Keem. Yeah. I'm happy about that. I'm happy that um, I stopped that relationship. There's more that we talked about in private that has little to do with Pyro, but Pyro is still involved. After you broke up with Pyro, or you know, he broke up with you rather, um, mm -hmm. you started dating another person in his his friend group, right? Okay. Yeah. And did Pyro know? this other person's age he did and how old was the other person that you started dating 23 23 and wow. how old were you so i guess that um really pyro isn't the bad guy because there's a fucking 23 year old hooking up with um a a 14 year old that's much worse than an 18 year old hooking up with a or not hooking up with they since there was nothing sexual about it Fourteen, turning fifteen. I honestly don't remember, but okay. So I don't think the rest of this video is just about Pyro. I think this is just other friend groups. Um, I'm kind of getting sick of it. Wow, Kim. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, Pyro lied. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, he is e dating this girl. Yeah, there's a lot of doubt I'm having right now. Well. That's it for me, Walrus Nation. It's just disappointing when, uh, like, they continue to do it. I feel bad for Pyro. I know he's done some, some not-so-great shit, especially with Ivory, but goddamn, Keem. You're such a fucking rat. Um, I know there's a lot of... I'll probably put this at the beginning of the video. I know there's, like, a lot of dark shit we've been covering, especially the... The whole fucking communist creeper versus Blaze, whole s that situation. Um, a lot of fake pedo accusations. So I think I'll do something lighthearted because I believe, if I'm correct, yeah, tomorrow is the three year anniversary of my channel creation, March 13th. And I just hit 100 subs, so we're gonna do a 100 subs video. I don't know what to do. If you wanna ask me some fucking questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And, yeah. So that's gonna do it, Walrus Nation. Um. Fuck. I'm just tired. I'm tired of all these accusations. I'm tired of people slandering Pyro. I'm tired of Keemstar. Uh. More videos. We're definitely gonna do that, uh, fucking sub, that, uh, 100 subs video. Thank you for watching. If you somehow made it to this point, I commend you for that. Sorry for... I have to slog through a lot of footage now. Um, 
I'll see you guys later. Bye.